Aminoavulinic acid, Wikipedia article audio. Delta aminoavulinic acid, an endogenous non protein amino acid, is the first compound in the porphyrin synthesis pathway, the pathway that leads to heme in mammals and chlorophyll in plants. 5 ALA is used in photodynamic detection and photodynamic surgery of cancer. Medical uses Cancer Diagnosis Being a precursor of a photosensitizer, 5-ALA is also used as an add-on agent for photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic detection is the use of photosensitive drugs with a light source of the right wavelength for the detection of cancer, using fluorescence of the drug. 5-ALA, or derivatives thereof can be used to visualize bladder cancer by fluorescence imaging. Aminoavulinic acid is being studied for photodynamic therapy in a number of types of cancer. It is not currently a first-line treatment for Barrett's esophagus. It use in brain cancer is currently experimental. It has been studied in a number of gynecological cancers. It is used to visualize tumorous tissue in neurosurgical procedures. Studies since 2006 have shown that the intraoperative use of this guiding method may reduce the tumor residual volume and prolong progression-free survival in people with malignant gliomas. The US FDA approved aminoavulinic acid hydrochloride for this use in 2017. Side effects may include liver damage and nerve problems. Hyperthermia may also occur. Deaths have also resulted. Cancer treatment In non-photosynthetic eukaryotes such as animals, fungi, and protozoa, as well as the alpha proteobacteria class of bacteria, it is produced by the enzyme allosynthase from glycine and succinyl CoA. This reaction is known as the Schumann pathway, which occurs in mitochondria. In plants, algae, bacteria, and archaea, it is produced from glutamic acid via glutamyltrina and glutamate 1 semialdehyde. The enzymes involved in this pathway are glutamyltrina synthetase, glutamyltrina reductase, and glutamate 1 semialdehyde 2, 1 amino mutase. This pathway is known as the C5 or Bale pathway. In most plastid containing species, glutamyltrina is encoded by a plastid gene, and the transcription, as well as the following steps of C5 pathway take place in plastids. Side effects In humans, 5-ALA is a precursor to heme. Biosynthesized, 5-ALA goes through a series of transformations in the cytosol and finally gets converted to protoporphyrin 9 inside the mitochondria. This protoporphyrin molecule chelates with iron in presence of enzyme ferrochelatase to produce heme. Heme increases the mitochondrial activity thereby helping in activation of respiratory system Krebs cycle and electron transport chain leading to formation of adenosine triphosphate for adequate supply of energy to the body. So, 5-ALA increases the basal metabolic rate of an individual thereby increasing glucose consumption and it helps in addressing the problem of low energy levels of patients. Cancer cells lack or have reduced ferrochelatase activity and this results in accumulation of protoporphyrin 9, a fluorescence generating substance, that can easily be visualized. Biosynthesis Excess heme is converted in macrophages to biliverdin and ferrocyanes by the enzyme HO1. Biliverdin formed further gets converted to bilirubin and carbon monoxide. Biliverdin and bilirubin are potent antioxidants and regulate important biological processes like inflammation, apoptosis, cell proliferation, fibrosis, and angiogenesis. Importance in humans 
In plants, production of 5-ALA is the step on which the speed of synthesis of chlorophyll is regulated. Plants that are fed by external 5-ALA accumulate toxic amounts of chlorophyll precursor, protochlorophyllide, indicating that the synthesis of this intermediate is not suppressed anywhere downwards in the chain of reaction. Protochlorophyllide is a strong photosensitizer in plants. Activation of mitochondria Accumulation of protoporphyrin 9 Induction of hemoxygenase 1 Plants